if I give you a millionaire's ATM and I say, look, for some reason for just trusting me, I reward that trust by giving you an ATM. Potentially speaking, has more money than you will need in your life. This is recession. So an example with money is a very fruitful one. It will help people understand. Are we together? He gives you an ATM. Are we together now? But for some reason, you have to be trained to know that that ATM is a fact that there's money inside. It's a fact that potentially speaking, you have access. Now, you may move around with your friend that you used to eat with before. It does not stop that the fact that you are a current possessor of that ATM. Experiencing the possibilities, someone must be introduced to your life or a document must be introduced that is a map that guides you and says, stand before a machine, the name is ATM, and you slot it and you are patient. The dynamics of the operation this is where knowledge and understanding comes. And you can hold that ATM forever and stand and swallow saliva in front of a shop that the ATM can buy the whole shop. Are we together now? Now, you are crying to the one who gave you the ATM and he's saying, I have made available. So, out of his love, giving you the ATM is enough, but he sent someone to come and guide you. But that person is so gentle, it will take your cooperation. So he says, look, we created this ATM. It's not like they gave us. We understand how this thing works. And he said, no, 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 no. I went to school. Just hold on. When I am difficult, this is what many people do. So you hold this ATM for years. And Satan comes around and tells you this thing is only a small card. And he says, it's a small card. Put it in your pocket. And you put it in your pocket and move around. This is what makes Christ look weak in the life of men. This is what makes the word of God look like it is of non effect. So in spite of the fact that this reality is a fact, knowledge of the systems of God, the provisions that have been made in place, Everything we do in the kingdom is not adding to what Christ has done. It's accessing through partnership the mysteries of the kingdom that releases those possibilities. So that after five years of working with God, my life should be able to reflect more of God now than it did five years ago. Not just in terms of finances and all of that. In terms of ascendance in the spirit. I should not fear five years later what I was afraid of five years before. I should not be a victim five years later of what I was a victim of before. I prayed for a gentleman here. I believe he's here. He was in the school of ministry. He had a dream. And somebody appeared to him in the dream, punched his hand, and he woke up physically with a punch with blood. Many years before, would look at it and say, Hey, this is a serious issue. And go and shout like fools around. But when I saw it, I said, I want to touch it. Zoe. Zoe. This is not the issue of prayer. There is an implication to the life I hold. Let my, the life of God make contact with that infirmity. Zoe. God's life. Possessors of divine possibilities. I want you to take away, take your eyes away from your challenge if you want to believe this. Because that's what Satan will use to mock you. You are a possessor of that life. Why are you barren? Five years. Don't mock yourself. And then you say it's true. Uh -uh. There is still a provision because to make sure that you release this life, he still gave on to some apostles and prophets. Look at all the provisions he put in place. He gave you his life, gave you his spirit, gave you his word, sent gifts in the body so that we are not without excuse. If you fail, you neglected the systems of God. You neglected his life, so you go to hell. You neglected his word, so there is no growth. You neglect his spirit, no direction. You neglect the gift, so no lifting. Anyone that fails in life, listen to me, is not God. He neglected the systems, the life of God, the spirit of God, the word of God, the gifts that he has sent. Just like there are people here looking at me who have never been interested in the life of God. The life of God is the most superior reflection of His love and benevolence. 
more than giving you a pastor more than giving you a prophet and apostle more than giving you the bible more than giving you whatever it is you have to receive them in that order you don't receive his life even if you receive his prophets you will not maximize your stay the prophets can only assist as guided by god they cannot impart life a man of god can impart every other thing aside from eternal life i can impart healing i can impart an anointing i can prophesy to you and your life will change but i cannot say be born again i can even stand before god to declare your sins forgiven right in terms of the limitations that stand between you but that is only a possibility in christ please i want you to believe this this issue of being born again is not a choice it's not a choice people buy phones now their phones get missing and they cry for days because owning a phone now is almost not a choice let's institutionalize salvation let's make it part of the fabric of growth to make it look like you don't say okay if you want to you want to you better come out whether you know it or not you want to are we together eternal life what you believe about jesus is important you must believe that he came from heaven if you believe he came from israel you are not saved you are not a child of god there is a footballer called jesus he cannot save men he can play football but he cannot save men please let's clarify these loose ends quickly before we continue there are things you have to believe jesus himself said in john chapter 6 i am the bread that came from heaven he told us his location that he came from heaven you must believe that he came from heaven number two you must believe in his incarnation his incarnation is the mystery that made the world flesh the womb of the woman is that mystery the mystery that made the world the eternal word that was with god john 1 verse 1 become flesh many christians don't know this you must believe in the incarnation not reincarnation incarnation if you believe in the reincarnation of jesus christ you are an antichrist incarnation incarnation the word became flesh number three you must believe in his humanity he didn't just come and die and went away he walked upon the earth partook of the weaknesses of men there is jesus the man he walked upon the earth the bible says he was in every way like us tempted yet without sin if you don't believe in the humanity of jesus christ you will shortchange yourself from walking in the fullness of the life of god you must believe in the dominion he exerted by means of the presence of the holy spirit in his life not by means of being jesus the son of god when he came upon the earth he stripped himself of his godship and submitted himself as a model to the ministry of the holy spirit so every result gotten in jesus life was not because he was jesus it was because he was under the influence of the spirit so that we are not without excuse the same spirit that made jesus the christ is the same spirit that will make jakes the christ is the same spirit that will make Ejimi the christ is the same spirit that will make joshua selma the christ believe in the humanity of jesus he demonstrated the sovereign power of god flawlessly above creation above principalities and powers he demonstrated to us in his earthly life that zoe is a possibility I so believe well that the word of the Lord is bringing so much change to your life without doubt and if you have been mightily blessed I would like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell so as to stay in touch with us. Do well to also share this video with your loved ones, family members, friends and all so as this light of the Lord that has come to your way will also get to others. I love you so much. We love you so much. Stay tuned.